Hi, I'm Andrew Bailey, curator of collections here at the Pima Air and Space Museum. You may have noticed the Blue Angels and Thunderbirds in the news recently as they fly over American cities in support of our frontline medical workers. We too would like to show support for the medical workers by highlighting some of the aircraft in our collection that flew with them and other aerial demonstration teams. The F-11 here at the museum was built by Grumman Aircraft Beth Page, New York and delivered to the U.S. Navy on March 31, 1958. It served with various frontline fighter squadrons. In March of 1959, it was to assigned to the Fighter Squadron 211 and deployed on the USS Midway and USS Lexington. In March of 1967, it was modified to fly with the Blue Angels. It flew with the Blue Angels from 1967 to February of 1969 when it was put into storage. In July of 1987, it was loaned to the Pima Air and Space Museum by the National Naval Aviation Museum. A couple interesting facts about the F-11. The Tiger was the first jet fighter to shoot itself down. While flying in a shallow dive, the pilot test fired the cannons. The aircraft continued on and the rounds impacted the Tiger. A unique feature of the F-11 is that it's one of the only U.S. Navy airplanes to have its outer wings fold down for storage instead of back or up. In June of 1946, the U.S. Navy formed the Blue Angels to help keep the general public interested in naval aviation. They originally flew the World War II Grumman F-6F Hellcat. The Tiger brought more speed to the Blue Angels' aerial performance. It was powered by one Wright J-65 turbojet with 10,500 pounds of thrust. Come on outside and let's take a look at our other Blue Angel aircraft, the F-A-18 Hornet. After the Blue Angels retired the F-11, they flew the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom for five years. After that, they replaced it with the aircraft on my left, the Douglas A-4 Skyhawk. In 1986, they replaced the Skyhawk with the aircraft on my right, the McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet. The Hornet was developed in the mid-1970s as a replacement for the F-4 Phantom II and the A-7 Corsair II that were in use by the U.S. Navy and Marines as ground attack aircraft. The F-A-18 was derived from the YF-17 that had competed for the U.S. Air Force contract that resulted in the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The YF-17 was redesignated to add more fuel, folding wings, and strengthened landing gear, among other changes to adapt it for use from aircraft carriers. The first production versions of the Hornet went into service with the Navy and Marines in 1983. Most of the early F-A-18A Hornets have been retired, but some continue to fly with the Navy and Marine training squadrons. The F-A-18C and the newest F-A-18E and F Super Hornets are currently the primary fighters and attack aircraft for the U.S. Navy and Marines. Hornets have been sold to several foreign nations, including Australia, Canada, Spain, Switzerland, Finland, Kuwait, and Malaysia. This aircraft was built by McDonnell Douglas Aircraft in St. Louis, Missouri. By 2002, it had been assigned to the Naval Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 23 at Naval Air Station Pawtuxet River, Maryland. In 2008, the aircraft was transferred to the Blue Angels, where it served until its retirement in 2012. In April 2013, it was placed on loan to the Pima Air and Space Museum by the National Naval Aviation Museum. As of this year, the Blue Angels have flown Legacy Hornets for 34 years and are in the process of transitioning to the Boeing FAA-18E Super Hornet for the 2021 season, the 75th anniversary of the team. I hope you enjoyed this video on fighter jets that flew with the Blue Angels. Please stay tuned for other videos on aircraft that flew with demonstration teams.